Got that S on my chest. Yes, nerds, N-E-R-D-S. Nerd Nation, you might associate, I guess, me with a rap song or rap songs, plural. Nerd Nation is a movement and I'm here to explain what Nerd Nation is all about. Obviously, you know, I love Stanford University and when I got to Stanford, I really started to realize that the student athletes in particular had their own culture. A lot of times we play in games and sometimes you'd watch them back and you'd realize people were saying, oh, you know, for Stanford, they're doing really well in football. Well, I'm like, why are they classifying us as different? And it's because they view us as nerds that wear glasses. Even though we're athletes, you can't really shake that off, but who would want to shake it off? And so, you know, we started celebrating that culture. Before I got to Stanford, they did this thing, hashtag revenge of the nerds. All of a sudden, there was a lot of momentum and people were saying, oh, Stanford, you know, student athletes are fierce, they're tough. Just because they really like being a student doesn't mean that they are not gonna be a good athlete. Okay, so this is the real story. We were shooting before Christmas break, like there's a game and obviously Tyga's Rack City comes on, you know, like Rack City or whatever. And we're just vibing, you know, shooting. And all of a sudden I was like, you know, look around, I'm in my jersey. Look, I'm like, wow, I'm at Stanford, this is great. You know, I have one of those weird movie moments. And I was like, what if I just like, it's like Nerd City. And I just, I, I like to rap. I mean, I'm not an accomplished rapper. I'm by far means no. I might be, be better than Iggy, obviously, but you know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was just a little shade just for fun. Back, back to what I was saying. So we're shooting, um, getting ready for a game. And I'm, I'm like, oh, what if like, what if there's a song like Nerd City Kid, Nerd Nerd City Kid. And my team was like, oh yeah, it's fire. No, I'm just kidding. No, it was like, <laughs> Chanae, you're being so weird. I was like, all right. So we had no homework. There was finals break. After the game, you know, we won. After the game, I was just saying, like, you know what? I'm just going to write this rap to make fun of them to show them what I can do. So I wrote the rap. And then I texted my sister, like, yo, Neck, I wrote this rap. And she was like, oh, wow. You know, like, let me hear it. So I, I rapped it to her. She's like, you got to change this lyric tonight. Come on now. Because I tend to be cheesy and goofy, as you can tell. And so we changed the lyric. And then the next day um, at practice, we're waiting for video. So we're in our locker room. So I was like, let's just write, uh, sing this rap to our team. So Neck and I are standing up singing this rap to our team. Our team are like, yo, Nerd City Kid, Nerd it. this is cool. Um, obviously, because it was just a fun moment. And then our media guy walks in because he always brings in stats and stuff like that. Aaron Juarez, the real MVP. He's the best media guy in the game. Um, anyways, so he comes in. He's like, oh my gosh, we should get this on video. We should get you doing video, um, singing this rap. And so it sort of blew up from there. We did the video for our fans because the fans love to see us. And the next thing you know, it goes viral and it's played in the NCAA tournament and it's crazy and it's just something fun. But more so, the whole idea was just to show that st at Stanford, you could be a student and an athlete and still be cool. You could redefine what nerd means to you. For me, it means I can be an athlete, but I can also, you know, really work hard in the classroom as hard as I work on the court as well. So that's a long story about the nerd city evolution. Then it was like hashtag nerd city, hashtag nerd nation. That's a whole nother conversation. So Nerd City started off after we had that rap song. Now Nerd Nation. Nerd Nation was the evolution of Nerd City. So Nerd City spread. I used. To, it's funny. I would walk campus and people would be like, "Oh my goodness, aren't you that girl that was in that viral video? Uh, like that, you know, rapped about stamp." I was just like, "Yeah." It was. It, look, those were professors and you know people that worked. I was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." And like, when's it, are you gonna make another video? So a year passed and like, when's the next video coming out? And it was just for fun. So by that time I was like, you know what? This nerd city movement is way much more than a city or like a localized idea. It's, it's something that could be like nerd nation, um, the entire nerd nation. And nerd nation does not have to be confined to Stanford University. It's about anybody that wants to give themselves the best chance to succeed, whether it's at basketball, football, Shoot, if you're in the orchestra, you take your education seriously because it can open doors for your passions. Um, so that's the Nerd Nation evolution. So you could be from Notre Dame and be a Nerd Nation advocate. You could be from Brown or you can be from Wesleyan. Um, so Nerd Nation is everywhere. And um, I just think it's really cool to see young kids that really think it's neat to celebrate school and what education can do to advance yourself and also advance your passions. For me, it was basketball. For you, it can be anything. If you love Nerd Nation as much as I do, or if you have any questions about it, obviously tweet me, tag me, do what you need to do, text me, um, share your feedback about Nerd Nation. If you have questions about how to get into college and what you can do to put yourself in a good position, just ask. I'm here for you.